Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with cute three of the bi weekly contest 96 maximum subsequent score. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. So, this poem is kind of tricky, kind of um, very easy to kind of take your time on because, you know, it's just tricky uh, to kind of even just read the poem. Um, I think I actually, and if you watch me solve it live during the contest, I actually kind of didn't read this part that well. I just kind of read this part. And I kind of guessed at the problem. So maybe that's why I have so many wrong answers in general. Because I kind of didn't read this problem well. But this time, I guessed it correctly. So I don't know. Also, happy Chinese New Year and Lunar New Year for those who are watching. Uh, definitely hit the subscribe button or whatever. Uh, you know, just for a little bit of love for Chinese New Year for Larry. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, um. I think the first thing that may kind of make sense is kind of have this idea of a heap, right? Because you have a min thing, but the, the and while that's kind of correct, it is actually not in the way that you may think, or at least not my initial thought. I thought that okay, maybe we you know keep track of these things in a min heap and and try to figure it out, you know, how to get the score from here. Um, so that's kind of the way that I think about it. But uh, and one thing that I you know. Um, if you're watching these videos, one thing that I wanted to do with these videos is to show someone solving it live and kind of the thought process and going through my thought process now throughout the the, the the live contest. So that is not like, you know, I think one thing that I dislike uh, or not dislike just for a different perspective um, is that a lot of, you know, YouTube videos are like these perfect videos of someone solving it perfectly and be like, oh, yeah, you, all you have to do is magically do this thing. And, you know, and then you're just like, yeah, if I knew that, of course, I would have known it. Like if I knew it, I knew it. Right. If I didn't, then how did I come up with it? Right. So so my my um, the context here is that, you know, some uh, or a lot of these videos I try I to show my work, if you will, as best as I can. And that's why I should. Uh, um, I solved them live, right? Um, that said, that's the context there, is that I actually solved this in about four minutes um, because I actually saw this one very quickly. Um, so I don't know that I have that in-depth uh, kind of thing uh, to explain. Um, I think the way that I would say, though, is that it did remind me of a similar problem. So... Um, and I couldn't really place that similar problem, so I don't have the name off my head. But but then I was like, okay, then is there an idea from that that I can take? Um, and then I kind of went on that route. So this is where practice and experience help. So I don't really have like a magic, like a like a step by step thing. But the first, but that being said, I did kind of thought about it a bit um, about you know using heap on the min or something like this. But um, yeah, let me kind of write this out first, right? The idea is that, well, first of all, um, it kind of reminded me also of another similar problem uh, with respect to problems that we did actually on the daily problems last week or maybe the week before. All these weeks are kind of running together um, with respect to the union fine problems, right? In the union fine problems, you're kind of getting this idea or the, the one that I'm thinking of, of like these queries that you do kind of online. Uh, or, or these queries that you kind of do and then you kind of build up the state from that. For me, I kind of have that similar idea of, okay, right? Let's, uh, what if we sort everything by nums to, right? Meaning that, okay, now we, uh, in a reverse order, so now we have f four, three, two, one, obviously, but then now, you know, you match them up. So this is two, two, three, one, three, right? And then now, if we go from left to right, we know that the last number we process is going to be the min, right? Uh, for, I mean, assuming that you have enough, um, assuming that you have enough values uh, for k, uh, yeah, the the last number that we process is going to be the min, and then from that, we just have to get okay. What is the k max values on on the top row, right? I mean, this is kind of hard to show because I, I, I didn't have that many numbers. Let me add, add a few more, say, right? right? Something like that, say, right? Um, let's say we're up to here. And k is equal to 3. Well, if we're up to here, then we know that the min of 
any three of these values is going to be two, at least one that includes this one because, well, if if there was another three here and the min of these three are three, we would have already done that problem previously, right? So because of two, we know that min is going to be two. And then now you could rethink the problem as, okay, now we just have to choose the k3 or the the k is equal to three max values. In this case, maybe it'll be five, three, and two um, in the value, right? And that's pretty much the idea um, that I got quickly and then implemented. Uh, and I'll show you in a second, obviously. But that's basically the idea is that, and then now as you move to the right, then now you go, oh, the new three max values. So it's going to be five, five, and three for 13, and so forth. And you kind of keep on going from left to right. So that's basically the idea. Um, so first of all, I kind of made it into one array, and then I sorted by um, the, 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 the second array. I wish they named these things. I don't know why they don't. I mean, it's not that hard. I guess. Anyway, but yeah, I sorted by that, as we said in the visualization. Um, I keep a heap, I keep a best, and total maybe is the one that's a little bit weird. Uh, um, the sum of all values in H. This is so that we don't have to kind of go through H and sum it every time for obvious reasons. So then here, uh, when we see an X, and this is a min heap, because whenever we, we have too many values, we want to remove the smallest value so that everything in the heap is going to be the K uh, max value, right? So that's basically the idea there. Um, yeah, so we push in the heap, we add to the, the sum of all values in H increased by X, and then if we have too many values, we pop it, we pop the smallest value and then we subtract it from the total. Just to keep track of it. And then now if we have at least k values, then we do total times the min value, which is y. So yeah, so this is all the sum of the values in h and y, and that's pretty much it. And then you just take the best of all of these after you have k values, and that's pretty much it. Um, so this is going to be n log n for the sorting. You know, yeah, uh, this is going to be O of n, times O of K, oh, oh sorry, O of log K. So this is going to be O of N log N time. Uh, and you can say maybe N log K, but K is going to be smaller than N, so it gets dominated by N anyway. Uh, and then O of N space. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you could watch me yourself and live during the contest. Now, remember to subscribe. This one. That was a silly mistake. I mean, I, I watched that one a little bit. Probably too too too, too uh, elegant. Uh, read the next problem, Harry. <laughs> that was sloppy. So subsequence. Okay. Ten to the fifth. <clears throat> so DP is not quite right. A min heap, okay. Oops. And based on y, tell me why. No, we not based on y, based on is it a min heap? On the max heap.
Is it? Now I want a mint here. What am I doing? I don't know. Confuse myself. I'm still long though. That's awkward. <coughs> oh, I have to do this only if. I knew that if statement, but then I forgot to write it. That's kind of sad, actually. Yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's contest, this problem, and everything in between. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.